Hey gang, it's Tony again. I've received a ton of emails since I put out the video on the Survival Fire Kit by Backwoods Biker, the SFK1. And the questions were, why do I not have a lighter included in that kit? Well, what's included in that kit is a ferro rod with a striker. It's attached with a lanyard that can also act as a tender source and then the heart and soul of the SFK1 are the cakes that we make. Um, they're made out of cotton, they have some wax in them, they have uh, all kinds of very flammable wood that's inside of these things. All right, I've got one right here, I'll, I'll push it out here for you, let you see it. Okay, now that's, that's, a, that's one right there, you see that? And then when you, you cut a piece of this off, you know, you just fluff up the cotton, They'll burn in the, in the rain. They'll start in the rain. They're very, very reliable. And I learned that formula from my father many, many years ago watching him do it. I've adjusted a little bit. Uh, he used uh, dried corn cobs and I believe kerosene uh, with his. So we've taken it another dimension just to make it a little more reliable, especially during times of moisture. So the question is, why don't I have a lighter inside uh, of the kit? All right, first of all, I do give you an ignition source inside of that kit. They work very fine. But I do carry a lighter with me all the time. And then with my bigger kits that I carry out for, you know, for extended periods of times, then I'll, I'll, I'll put a, a lighter in there. The question was a big lighter, all right? And the answer is absolutely not. I do not recommend taking out big lighters out into the bush unless you absolutely have to. If you have time to plan for it, and you can get yourself together, then I'm going to show you something that is a great alternative. Now, the reason I don't like these, number one, is that the flame is very susceptible to the wind. So if you're down trying to get near your uh, tinder bundle, you're trying to get down into your nest or whatever and, and light your source, it might blow out. And they do a lot, you know, and then you've got to do a lot of finagling to get that going. Let's say that the wind isn't a problem, but you want to put it down inside of something to light it, you see what happened? The, your thumb is going to get burned because the flame just naturally comes up the way it's, that's just what nature does with that type of a flame. Uh, they are susceptible to mechanical breakdown because of the wheel and the triggering system that lets out the fuel, okay? Uh, in the pack wrong, I've had friends go out and have their lighter somehow open up and all the all the fuel is escaping why they why they do that and then they're without a lighter okay uh, those are a few reasons why I don't okay now let me show you what I do take out with me in regards to a lighter and I guarantee you if Daniel Boone would have had the opportunity to own one of these he would have had it because I think Daniel Boone and all the frontiersmen usually had the best of what was available especially if they were pros going out into the in, into the wilderness I use a cigar lighter this particular cigar lighter is only eleven dollars. Um, they do make uh, cigar lighters that are much more expensive. When you know they have profiles like like this, real tiny ones. Uh, this is just a little bit bigger, all right. But eleven dollars versus for the thin ones, you know, like forty forty five dollars. These are great to have. Uh, they are refillable. They are adjustable flames. Um, they're very reliable in regards to whatever mechanics they have, and you really have to pull down in order to release the fuel so you don't have any problem with doing that. But this is the best thing about this. A cigar lighter is a jetted flame. All right, you see that right there? Even when I turn it sideways or I turn it upside down, that thing is still going and it isn't going to burn you. The jet is directing the flame and the hottest part of the flame down into your fuel source or whatever you're trying to ignite. In the wind, they're pretty good, all right? So that's the reason why I don't take a Bic, but I do take a cigar lighter. They're very reliable and they'll get you done. Listen, if you like these little videos, hit that subscribe button down there on the right and hit the like button. If you subscribe, your name's gonna be put in our monthly giveaway and we've got some great stuff that we're giving away all the time, every month. One of you subscribers are gonna be that lucky gal or a lucky guy. So until next time, you always, Ride free, live free.